Hey up everybody, I've just been doing a bit of maintenance work on my loco after a couple of years running and what I've been doing, you'll probably see it in a previous video or maybe this one, I don't know. Took my tanks off and um, give them a good clean out after two years running. Uh, they weren't too bad but to be fair they were getting ready for a good wash out. Anyway I've had them all off and I've given loco a bit of a spruce up, a bit of a clean and uh, I've even repainted barrel. And uh, what I'm going to do today then, I'm going to get my tanks filled up with water and I'm going to check my axle pumps working okay. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to also check how many litres per minute uh, it's actually pumping at a given speed. So uh, I'm going to get the loco jacked up, get some air on it, get them filled up with water and uh, we'll, we'll have a look how much it's pumping or if it even is pumping. Oh, and my postman's just been, uh, so uh, I've got a little uh, surprise to open up here. I'll probably do all that later on in the video. Yeah, I've just dropped off this lathe that I'm building. It's a micro lathe from some vintage castings that I acquired.
Come on then, let's have a look what Postman has brought me. I think I've a good idea what's in this. Um, yeah. Thank you very much, John. I appreciate that. What is it? It's a, a mister for your coolant on your machine. Uh, I suppose it can be fitted to any machine, really. But I'll probably put it on my lathe. Uh, so, about a month back, John did a video uh, specifically on coolant in workshop. Uh, if you've not seen that, go and take a look at that. And if you've not seen John's workshop before, uh, go and take a look at him because he does some interesting videos. Uh, it it gives, gives a lot of good tips out on workshop procedures, etc. He's recently done his uh, shaper up, refurbished that. That's interesting. So, uh, take a look at John. He's, uh, he's got an interesting channel. Uh, thanks, thanks very much then for that, John. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to get a chance to fit it because I've got a lot of jobs backing up at the moment, especially now summer's starting to kick in, so it might mean less time in here. I don't want to go and rush into it, you know, and uh, I want to do a proper job on it. So I'll probably do a video and be putting it on uh, later on in year, um, or whenever I get a chance. Uh, so. Like I said, thanks again then John, uh, I appreciate that. Then uh, axle pump's working fine. I managed to get half a pint per minute or 300 mil as near as damn it per minute. And that's roughly what I was getting last time I checked it, maybe 12 month back. So yeah, that's working fine. Um, I think on my next video I'll fire loco up and I'm going to attempt to try that uh, gas burner that a friend uh, let me have to try which he's never tried uh, I've only just got round to being able to get to, to try that so uh, I've also got to uh, my injectors never worked on this properly since I've had it it like works at 50% so what I've done the, the same friend has loaned me one of his injectors to try to see if it makes any difference then I'll know if it's either my injector or not that's the problem um, so uh, I'll do that in the next video that sweet pea gas burner I will have to fire it up on butane though I've got no propane in a bottle that's suitable so uh, I'll do that perhaps next anyway <coughs> If you found that useful, enjoyable, informative, etc, uh, etc, et give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you next time then, uh, probably firing this up. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.